Hi, it's Tony here from the Think to Thrive team with a very, very special video to empower you, to give you some information to move you from A to B in whatever it is that you are trying to achieve. First of all, you may notice there's some candles on this table. I've already lit this one. This candle here, I want you to think of now as you, the light that you shine in the world, that burning light of your soul, if you like, that's keeping you sustained on a daily basis. This candle represents you. Okay, this candle, which I haven't lit yet, which I'm gonna do now, this candle is gonna represent information. Okay, so this candle here is information. There's you, and there's information. Now, I'm sure you agree that in order for your life to change, in order for your life to improve, or for the outside circumstances to change, to mirror what it is that you hold deep down inside as your desire, you require information, and that requires study. That requires raising awareness. That requires contemplation. It, it requires you to move aside the ego and accept that maybe there are things that you do need to learn about. These two at the moment, for most people, are separate things. It's very rare that we put the two together, but we exist alongside study and attaining information, empowering, mystical information from since the beginning of time about what it is that we have, the power that we have inside us. So you and information. Coming across to this candle here, you'll notice that there are two wicks on this candle. I'm gonna light this one to make a point. So this candle here, the first candle, just like last time, I want you to think of as representing you. So this first wick here is you. The second wick on that candle, this time not inf information, your imagination. But what do you notice here? If I like this wick here, what do you notice? This is you, the light of you, and imagination. How does it differ from these two? Well, first of all, they're the same thing. They're one and the same thing. This candle here represents you. That the light there is you, and this light is your imagination. It's the same thing. See, a lot of people try and think of themselves as beings, and the imagination is something out there, a bit like a person and information, two separate lights. But imagination is you. It's the same thing. Imagination is everything that you are. So I want you to really now focus on, I'm going to be sharing some information with you now, some incredible information, but look across this candle and realise that you, and imagination, is the same thing. Okay? Now, over the last few weeks, I have been studying. I never stop studying, nor does Mike, and I'm sure Mike's going to share his thoughts, what he's been studying about recently that's empowering his day uh, his days. I've been studying and this little book here, I'm going to show you a close-up of the inside of this book in a minute. This little book here is called Good Vibes. It's a little notebook and over the last few weeks I have been making uh, notes in this little notebook. It's become a really close companion. Especially during these challenging times, I've still t made sure I've found time to study and when I study, I put those notes into this uh, journal. But there's something even more special about this little journal because this little journal was presented to me when I left full-time education to pursue my goals of entrepreneurship and inspiration and all the dreams that I wanted to fulfill. This candle here actually is uh, getting a bit uh, smoky so if that doesn't go down I should blow it out. Oh, it's died down a bit now. Um, and I've made notes in here when I've studied. Okay, I'm going to show you now a photograph of the front, the inside of this booklet because it was a gift given to me by a family. I taught both the children in this family and it means a lot to me to have this little booklet here as a, as a notebook, a blank book to make notes in. Here's the slide. Very special. So, who have I been studying or more importantly, what have I been studying that's creating such change? I've been studying the work by Neville Goddard. Now, Neville Goddard was an orator an author, um, a great inspirational speaker, 
and a theologian who taught, uh, spoke and, and wrote his work uh, during the 1960s and early 1970s. An incredible, incredible writer. His work is so poetic, it's so inspiring, it really gets you to think um, out of the box, if you like. And just incredible, and I want to, over the next set of videos, share some information that's going to make a difference to your day. As I say, when you mirror information with you about the imagination and uh, you being the same thing. So. I'm going to go through a few points, and, and again, in this little journal, this is where I've been uh, making uh, all of my little jottings and notes about the learning that I've been taking from Neville, from Neville Goddard. So let's go through a few points, and what I want you to do is I want you to take this information away with you and use it to empower your day, embody it, really embody it, because you see wonderful, inspiring information, such as the work by William Blake, stands the test of time. Yes, it can be a bit deep sometimes, but in these challenging times, in this new world, as I call it, that we're entering, there, there is now a time like never before for us to go within and start to look at this idea of imagination and you being the same thing and how your reality is all about imagination. So some of these points might sound a little bit challenging, they might sound a bit way out there, but just contemplate them and build them into your everyday life and you'll see a difference. I certainly have. So, first of all, point one. The importance of claiming I am. Now, what do I mean by that? When we say I am, we are making a declaration of our state of being. So you hear people say, oh, I am so fed up. I'm sick and tired of this. I am never going to, etc, etc. When you say I am, that's a deep declaration from a state of being deep down inside that is declaring to the universe what you're being and what you're being attracts or mirrors exactly what's coming into your life. So I want you this week to think about turning around those I am statements and they can be thoughts, they're not always uh, said as words, into positive, uh, optimistic, regeneration, rejuvenation of a new you, of a new reality. I am. Every day I wake up, I say, I am. And then I finish that statement with something empowering. Uh, another very close relative to the I am is my. So I say a Thomas Trod quote every morning when I wake up, my mind is a center of divine operation, always for greater expansion and full fulfillment. That's how I'm having it, that's how I look at the world. Point two that Neville makes, it's important to start to embody the idea that you have to assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled. You have to assume that, 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 that what it is that you want to attract into your life or what it is you want to become or what you want to see on the outside, you have to assume that the feeling is already with you now. You cannot move forward unless you get that right. Now you take small steps on this, you have to keep studying, but you will get there. You have to find the feeling of what it feels like in the state of what it is you want to uh, achieve. Whatever that may be, because wherever I'm speaking to you now, that could be a million different things. You have to persist and you have to believe. So. Things don't always go right, and it's an onward journey, this journey of awareness. Persist and keep believing. Now, this is such a powerful quote from Neville Goddard. When you imagine, when you use the faculty of imagination, it's literally coming out from the divine. Now, I'm going to use the word the divine right now, so I don't upset any religious um, uh religious thoughts or, or, or people out there that, that, that fall into a certain religion. So we're going to use a generic term, the divine, however you de define the divine. Um, he says that when you imagine, it comes from the divine. Your imagination that so many of us separate out, we don't see as a whole, as part of us, we think of something which we use as ch children. But your imagination is the divine coming out. 
And he talks about the idea that when the divine, uh, the, 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 the divine energy actually fell asleep inside you, waiting to be woken up through your imagination. That is powerful. Wow, that is so powerful. He says here, imagination is the divine. So I'm starting to completely rethink my uh, future now and how I think, because every day is a learning experience. And now I actually say that to myself, imagination is divinity. It is the divinity in action. It's the same thing as we have here with the candles. Another really powerful tip that Neville Goddard gives is that when you use that faculty of imagination for your future self, of what it is you want to attract, use the phrase uh, mentally, oh, I can remember a time when. So you see yourself in, the, in this future state looking back and saying to people, oh, do you know, I can remember a time when I had no money, or I can remember a time when I never found a partner, or I can remember a time when, you know, I wasn't as fit and healthy as this. So you're looking back. That's quantum thinking, by the way, what uh, uh, Simon Sinek talks about, infinite thinking as opposed to finite thinking. So you're looking back from the future, back to, uh, and, and sort of clarifying where you were and how things have changed. Yes, it sounds like child's play, but we could have learned a lot from children. Imagination. I remember a time when. What would that look like and what might you, what, how might you finish that sentence? Now, when you do, let take this perspective and let's pretend that you're in a state of poverty or lack of money or, or financial challenge. If you use the faculty of imagination to see yourself in a future state of comfort and you say, oh, I remember a time when you know I had no money, not like it is now where I do have some flow, that takes you out of poverty and places you in a state of comfort. Okay, now I know there's people watching thinking, yeah, but, but there's still reality out there. There's still, we're gonna come on to this by the way, but there's still reality. I've still got to pay the bills. I've still got to A, B, C, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whatever those things may be. This is using the imagination to embody a state. Yes, you still need to carry on with your daily activities, but trust me, imagination is the big deal. It's been known about since the beginning of time. Wow, listen to this. There is no comparison, no comparison between your vision and dreams with the events in the outside world. Now to my left here, I have a window which I can look out into the outside world. Right now, I'm speaking to you and I'm completely engrossed in this information and my imagination and serving and being the person that I wish to be. Out there, there are cars going past and people walking about and life is carrying as normal. Now, I'm not being distracted all the time by the outside world right now, am I? I'm speaking to you and I'm reaching out to you with information. That's embodied in, in imagination. That's embodied in a state. And the outside world is a reflection. In fact, Neville Goddard talks about, and we'll come on to this a bit later in other videos, the idea that, that the outside world is merely a dream. It's merely a dream that the actual reality is going on within here, within inside your imagination. There is no comparison between your vision and dreams with the events in the outside world. Wow. Powerful, powerful information. Four more points. Five more points. Another powerful looking from the future back is to imagine somebody talking about you. Now this isn't an, an ego um, trip here, but somebody that you know talking about you having achieved or got to the place that you want to get to. So you imagine somebody, it can be anybody, um, just talking about you and saying, oh, have you heard about, uh, say your name is Bill or Jane, have you heard about Bill or, or Jane? I don't know if they've, 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 they've done that now or they're doing that and they seem so happy. So you imagine scenarios around you where people are talking about your future state actually taking place. That's powerful. Oh, another great line. I mean, this is so cool. The whole that's everything, is contained within your imagination. So it's not about putting something there, the whole's already there. So when you go into your wonderful imagina imagination and you lose yourself, and this isn't a waste of time, you lose yourself in that future state that you want to see yourself in, then the whole is contained there as well, including the answer. You don't need to worry about the how. Div divinity becomes you so that you can become divinity. You see, 
We all have a divine birthright to shine in the world and serve. We all of us have that ability to do that. Two more points. This is powerful. He actually says in many of his seminars, test the process. Test divinity. You know, put it to the test and say, right, do you know what? I'm going to test this. I'm going to make a commitment over the next few weeks to use my imagination, study the work by Neville Goddard, and really key into what the essence of this is, this power. Um, and listen to those stories where people have achieved wonderful things and think, well, maybe I can do that too. So test it. What, what can you lose? You know, what can you lose? And finally, he says again, we've touched on this earlier, you're in a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a... Powerful. So, your, your life, the world out there, is, is a dream. So change the dream. Change the dream. And what does he mean by that? He said, and it gives some amazing examples whereby uh, this lady, she has this dream. Oh, it's, it's a man, he has this dream and he's at a party. And in this dream, and because dreams seem so real, don't they, when we're having dreams. He's arguing that actually there's no difference between the dream state and what seems to be going on that in the outside world. And he, he gives it a brilliant example, which I'm going to end on. That this person is in a dream and they're at a party and they're walking about. And have you ever had that experience when you're in a dream, when you suddenly realise you're in a dream and you try and snap yourself out of it? Well, he said this, this person was in a dream, he was at a party, enjoying the party, and he suddenly realised, this is just, this is dream. You know, I've got, I've got to wake up, or there is another version of me that I need to wake up to. So he goes up to one of the ladies in the, in the party and says, this is a dream. I, I, I'm not really, well, I'm here, but this is, this is the dream. And she gets really cross with him. What, the reason he tells the story is because that actually is how the world, the world appears to be real out there. It is, it's a dream. And in the same way that you can wake up in a dream to realise you're in a dream, you can also wake up right now and say, I'm in a dream. But just like that man did, you can change your dream that appears to be happening. Now, I'm not saying for one minute that we stop paying the bills, we, we don't act responsibly. Of course, we, we are where we are and we still need to move among the so-called reality of, of life and get on and interact with it. But it's just creating that perspective, if you like, about balance. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, inspiration. Now, I've got five pages of notes here to share with you over the next four videos. Coming back again to the little journal. I hope this has inspired you. You see, if you are here, and you want to get to here, you have to raise your level of awareness and you have to study and you have to embody thinking bigger than the way that you may have been doing before. Not in an egocentric way, but just contemplating those ideas and saying, yeah, do you know what? That's interesting. And then everything in your life then changes. Everything. I can definitely prove that to you, that everything changes. This is Tony Mallett signing out from the Think to Thrive programme. I'm going to ask Mike Hendricks uh, to add some points to this video for you. He may do this at the end of this one, or he may add um, an extra video uh, later about some key points that he's been studying, because I know Mike never stops studying. Uh, we talk about this so much, the importance of study. Here's your inspiration and motivation. Hang in there. You can do it. Change the way you think. Think about the candle. Imagination you is the same thing. Information, very often, for people, is blown out, doesn't exist, or they don't have time for it. To your success.